Hello everyone, I am back in my craft studio and today I wanted to give you a quick look at the August collections from Spellbinders. Um, I'm going on a little trip I needed for my mental health and I, I don't feel like I will have time to film the project videos like I usually do with these new collections, but the collections are absolutely fantastic. They're very inspiring and I do hope to film the videos once I'm back from my trip, but who knows, you guys see how far behind I am. Um, so I wanted to do this quick video and give you a quick look at the new collections, show you some of my favorites and just, you know, just give you a general idea of what's coming from Spellbinders. So here we have the Spellbinders 2023 catalog. I'm not sure if you've seen it. This catalog is absolutely beautiful. And I'm not going to walk you through the entire catalog. I'm just gonna walk you through the August part of the catalog. Now here, uh, the cover. I wanna talk a little bit about the cover because I really love it. Um, here I have one of my cards. This is this is actually probably like the first time ever that my uh, any one of my cards is on the cover of any catalog. So this is pretty exciting. So this is uh, featuring products from my Yana's Delightful Christmas collection, which released last month. And um, I have videos if you missed if you've missed the release of that collection, I have videos showing it and showing how to use these uh, products on my YouTube channel and a link to that. So I have, I'm super excited to have my card on the cover and also check out this card, beautiful. So that is stitched for Christmas. Now we're going to skip ahead and go to, go to August releases. So um, here we have the first collection for August is Gnome Drive and oh my goodness, it is so, so clever so beautiful so first of all we have the gnome drive holiday and this is your basic set this is the set that you will want to get to you know create the main element so you have the little car you also have little pieces to build your gnome and you also have a few accessories for the gnome to hold which is a christmas tree and then a gift and here this card shows this die set in action because of course you have your car you have your gnome and you have your christmas tree with the gift now all the other sets that you see here including the sentiment these i would consider these as add-ons because you can purchase these to build on top of the gnome drive holiday so we have the graduation set which is super clever i know right now is not the time for graduation but you know that time is going to be soon and um that's just, just a great set. I love the scroll. I love the graduation cap and I love how it fits uh, the gnome's hat perfectly. We also have the gnome drive hearts for you, which is a Valentine's Day set. And here you can see it in action here. So you can have like heart shaped balloons and you also have the heart with an arrow and it is just beautiful. And of course we have the gnome drive Halloween and Halloween is approaching soon. So if you are celebrating that holiday, this is a great set to have because you have like your uh, pumpkin. It's a pumpkin balloon. You also have a witch hat and that can go on top of your gnome as you can see here. And then you have your cat and you have your little ghost and then the ghost is wearing an even smaller witch hat. So it's super, super adorable. And then also there is a gnome drive, uh, gnome drive spring, which is an Easter and St. Patrick's Day combined. There isn't a card showing this set in action, but you do see a couple of die kits here on the page where you have um, the horseshoe and you have the clo clover and, you know, just some flowers. So you can use, um, if, you, if you like this gnome drive, you can actually get a bundle. So there's a gnome drive, I want it all bundle available on the Spellbinders website. So it includes all of the six products from this collection. Love it. Okay, moving on. And the next collection we have is BB's Snowflake. Uh, it is beautiful. It is stunning. It is by my friend BB Cameron. And BB did, you know, she out, she has outdone herself once again because this is a fantastic collection. And there's actually two pages here. So let's go back to page number one. First, we have uh, first we have the Snowflake Cart Creator, and this is a huge die. I get like I don't have it right now to show it to you guys, but you can see it right here in comparison to so this if this is an A2, this is our snowflake cart creator. So this is a pretty large die. 
Uh, it's probably five and a half by five and a half inches. I, I'm not sure. I don't have the exact measurements here with me. You can look it up on the website, but I would say it's about five and a half by five and a half. And then, of course, you could have uh, you have the other elements to decorate your snowflake. You have a little poinsettia. You have some foliage, you know, so lots of things you can do. You also have the delicate snowflakes, and these are the smaller builder type snowflakes, and these are featured right here where you can decorate your snowflakes and create like folk artsy uh, look snowflakes. So lots and lots you can do. The next one is the snowflake pop-up die set, and that is featured right here. So this is a very cool set for pop-ups. BB uh, has another pop-up. It's a hummingbird pop-up in her previous humming BB's hummingbird collection. I'm yet to use that one. I don't really do a lot of pop-up cards. Well, I don't do any pop-up cards, <laughs> to be honest, but this is a really cool set to try you know, to surprise the recipient because you open your card up and there you have this beautiful unexpected pop-up. Moving on, we also have a glimmer plate. So this is glimmering snowflakes and let's see, it is featured on this beautiful box here. So it is just a strip, but you can foil it twice to have a full card background. And then you also have a foil sentiment which reads, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and a coordinating die to cut it out. There are also individual snowflake dies to cut all of these little foiled snowflakes out. And I think that is brilliant because that gives you a lot more use out of this glimmer plate because, you know, you can foil it, cut those out and use these as little individual embellishments. Next, we have snowflake wishes. And this is a very clever set because you have your sentiments. So it's a it's a die and a stamp set two in one so you have this is the part die so we have believe sending and wishing and then each of these has a little banner attached and you have a bunch of different sentiments that fit inside those banners so you can combine these to create a unique sentiment for example here we have the wishing die cut in gold and then you a very merry christmas so a bb die cut the wishing from spellbinders gold mirror cardstock then she die cut the banner from white cardstock, layered that on top of the wishing and stamped you a very Merry Christmas in black ink. And then also we have sending love and hugs this Christmas, wishing you a day filled with love and cheer. There's also another one here, uh, believe in Christmas magic, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. So you have a bunch of different options with this stamp and die set. Next, there is a snowflake ornaments stencil set, and this is the layering set, and it is featured right here. So you can ink blend beautiful um, ornaments for your Christmas cards and, you know, just have fun with ink blending. And then the last one is just a fun little set with pierced mini labels, and we all love labels, of course. You know, you can never have too many labels in your stash because these are great to house a sentiment. So here, BB used one to foil a sentiment, and this actually, the, the sentiment make a wish is from one of my previous collections with Spellbinders. So that's a look at the BB's uh, Snowflakes collection releasing today. Moving on, the next one is Envelope of Wonder, and oh my goodness, this is another stunning collection. It's another builder set. So you have your main die set, which is this one, the Envelope of Wonder. And this is the set that has the dies to die cut the envelope. It also includes floral dies, it includes leaves, and it also has what looks like tabs. You can use those to create little um, pop-up. You can have, you, when you open the envelope, you can have the pieces pop up and be dimensional. So it's not like just a flat envelope. You do have a little bit of movement with these little tabs. I'm hoping I can use this and show you this set in action. And here it says kinetic, so it means that the elements will move. So if you, if you like the Envelope of Wonder, definitely get this set because it is the main die set in this collection. And then you have three additional sets. So you have the Christmas Wonder, which is featured right here. And of course, it features a bunch of Christmas imagery. You have ornaments, you have a bell, you have candy cane, you have poinsettias, you have a, uh, a bow, you have holly and berries and all of that. Next one is the autumn wonder and that is of course perfect for fall. You have your harvest items, there's mushrooms, um, you know, all of the good things, all of the images that you will see in autumn. And then the last one is the Halloween wonder, which is another fantastic set because you have your Halloween images, you have the adorable ghosts, you have the tombstone, 
you have the the candy the little bats so super adorable images and then there's even the spider web that goes on this on the flap of the envelope or you can even adjust it and use it on the corner of the envelope oh and look at this adorable cat too with the pumpkin uh, as a hat so super cute now this envelope features just the flowers from the main envelope of wonder stat so it is you can see how beautiful those flowers look so if you're looking for a good floral set the envelope of wonder is a brilliant one just just because of the flowers in this set now this collection also features two sentiment options so you have envelope of wonder stamps so um you can stamp the sentiments on your envelopes or you can have the sentiments of wonder better press plates and coordinating dies so if you have the better press system you can pick up these in as far as I remember, these are almost identical. I think they feature almost identical sentiments. The stamp set might have a couple of additional sentiments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the stamp set has just one extra sentiment. Yeah, so otherwise these are pretty much identical. Moving on, and we have the Nutcracker Suite. This is a paper pad collection from Spellbinder. So we have a six by six pattern paper pad. We have some chipboard stickers and we have printed die cuts. Now they also feature new enamel dots or dimensional dots in two-tone blue and two-tone pink. I don't think I have these particular colors, but I do have the other enamel or dimensional dots from Spellbinders. They're actually not that dimensional. It says dimensional, but let me show you. I'm gonna go grab the dots that I do have. You know what? I lied. I do have these pink and these two-tone blue. I didn't I didn't know that I had them. So uh, they're not that dimensional. There's not there's really not that much dimension. There are they are less dimensional than the fashion dots. So if you have the fashion dots and you know how dimensional those are, these have a little bit less dimension to them, so they will keep your card on the flatter side. There's also the Nutcracker seal, and I love this little image. The Nutcracker is placed in an oval, and it is just adorable. Okay, moving on. Next, we have Glimmer for the Holidays, and oh my goodness, guys, this is beautiful. So this is a Glimmer collection with a stencil, a layering stencil set to help you color your image. So first of all, we have the Swirling Foliage Tree. It is featured here. You can foil it, you know, on all sorts of colors of cardstock. Use a little bit of gems, you know, use your embellishments and decorate the tree. It is going to look fantastic. Next, we have the Comfort and Joy Sentiments, and I love that these, the, these have a little bit of a curve to them, and there are banner dies to cut all of these out at once. So you're not foiling one sentiment at a time, you're foiling you know, a bunch at once. So you have uh, these as one plate, and then these as another plate, and then you have a grouping of the dies to cut them out at once. I love dies like this, uh, or you know, sets like this, where I'm not creating one sentiment at a time. I can just create a bunch of sentiments. I don't have to align a die for each sentiment. I can just layer these dies over all of the sentiments, you know, and it just makes it a lot easier uh, to make a bunch at once. So next we have the Pine Sprays background plate and it's featured right here. This is foiled probably in matte gold on black, but again, you can foil it in all sorts of colors of foil in, on all sorts of colors of cardstock. Glimmer Moonline Stars, another beautiful one. It is foiled here in matte gold. And then, the, and then we have the ombre ink blending, which looks beautiful. And my favorite from this release is the Full Bloom Poinsettia Glimmer Plate. It is large. It is the size of an A2 card. We can see it right here. And then you have a set of stencils to color that poinsettia. And the stencils are layering. So, so of course you can use different colors of ink to color the images. Love it. Moving on. And next we have Dancing Halloween. If you have been a fan of Spellbinders for a long time, you might know that they have these awesome kinetic dancing dies. And what it means is that a part of the die cut moves when you assemble it. 
For these particular dies, it's the body that will move. So you'll attach the hat and then the body will just swing left and right. And I think that's super cute, especially for this little girl, you know. And here it says, we dance, because it does look like the die cut is dancing. So we have the dancing grim. And here, th like this might look very odd to you. This is how you make this bottom part of the body part move. So you place a foam square in the center here. So I'm just going to fake it for you right real quick. So you put a foam square right there in the center and that allows this piece to move. So you're not adhering this piece down onto your paper. It is just basically attached through this foam square. So it's not adhered, but it can swing to the left or the, to the right, creating this awesome dancing effect. I'm just going to try to remove that foam square so that my catalog does not stick. Oh, I can't remove it. I did not think that this foam square would grab so quickly. Okay, almost, I, I almost got it. Ah, well, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so then we also have the dancing boy day of the dad and then the da dancing girl day of the dad and I have the coordinating sentiments with, uh, you know, fun little sentiments that you can use with these die cuts. Next, we have the Snow Garden, and it is another beautiful collection by Susan Tierney Cogburn. And Susan is famous for her dimensional flowers, for her dimensional, realistic-looking foliage and, and flowers. So this is a wonderful collection for the winter and for the holiday season. She has beautiful dyes, and Susan has video tutorials for all of her products on the Spellbinders YouTube channel. So if you're looking at this dye and you have no idea how to put it together, because, well, that's how I feel. I think this is, uh, this is it right here. You can go to the Spellbinders YouTube channel, watch her tutorial, follow along, and you'll be able to create these beautiful flowers in no time. And this time, Susan also has a Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. It is featured right here. And then uh, also sentiments, so glimmer sentiments with the coordinating dies. Next, we have the Holiday Hugs collection by Stimpendous. And you have several cute die sets along with some stamp sets and another die set with accessories. So you have the gnome hugs and these basically have little, you, you put together a die cut and you can have, you can wrap the hands to make it look like this character is holding something. Or, you know, you can have a banner or have them hold like a little sentiment or something like that. So the die cuts are, these die cuts are sending hugs. And if you want, you can just use the die cuts alone or you can complement them with the faces or also with the sentiments. So fun little collection. I It's been a long time since I've used Stimpendous products. I used to be on the Stimpendous design team. I might even have some of their stamps. So it's, uh, I kind of miss that, you know, it'd be fun to create with these and see what I could make. Oh, and uh, here's another page with the holiday hugs. So you have more sentiments, you have more dies. And then another two cool products in this collection are the card background. So these are just uh, full uh, letter sheet panels. They are pre-printed and you can just cut them apart. Like here on this card, for example, you just cut this panel into four and you use a fourth of the panel here to create the background. And I think that's just super clever. Okay, moving on. Next, we have the House Mouse Christmas. And this is also adorable. I love House Mouse. I love all of these adorable mice. And you have the mice all ready for the holiday. So you have these mice holding the letters that say Noel. And then you have the drummer mice, you know, drumming on the little drums. You have the Merry and Bright uh, mouse that is stuck to the string of holiday lights. And then this adorable mouse that is pulling a large ornament, you know, getting ready to decorate. And then these adorable mice, the, the, they, they are kissing under the mistletoe. And then the last one is this hold on set with the skating mice. So that's a look at the August collections from Spellbinders. There is more in this catalog. I'm not going to show you these. I'm not going to walk you through them. Uh, if you want to take a look at them, you can go to the Spellbinders website and explore the upcoming collections. But for now, I think we have a ton of new products to play and create with. I don't even know which collection is my favorite. I, I certainly love all of them. 
the gnome drive. I can't wait to put a couple of these uh, gnome cars together and use all of the little add-ons to uh, to decorate. And then the Envelope of Wonder is another fantastic collection. And then of course, BB's uh, Snowflakes, you know, so, so tempting. If you want to pick up any of these products, there is a promotion currently running on the Spellbinders website. It is $25 off orders of 125 or more. So if you Place $125 worth of products in your card. Uh, you will have $25 off, which is a great offer. And then once you reach the $100 threshold, uh, you also have free um, shipping, which is awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the look at the new August products from Spellbinders. I hope I'll be able to create something with these. Like I said, these are super inspiring and I'm just running out of time, but I still wanted to pop in and show you the new collections. Love you guys. Thanks for spending time with me today and I'll be back soon. Bye.